The cameras and sensors built into Uber's white Volvo SUVs record real-world driving scenarios that engineers use to test and improve software that may one day take over the wheel. The company has already deployed its vehicles in Pittsburgh, San Francisco and Toronto, but says Dallas will allow it to explore new roads, unique traffic patterns and a different climate. But I think it's exciting. I think it's cool if, if they can figure it out. In downtown Dallas, residents we spoke to were enthusiastic. I think why not? You know, I think it's convenient. I think this is the future. You should be excited about efforts to responsibly develop um, uh, transportation technology. Tom Bamonte works for the North Central Texas Council of Governments, helping the region plan for advancements in automated vehicles. Frisco and Arlington have already experimented with driverless vans shuttling passengers on set routes. It's really, as a region, getting ahead of the next transportation system. Just as forward-looking cities in the past got ahead and got a stop on the railroad or um, you know, a spot on the interstate. A survey earlier this year by AAA, though, found most people remain skeptical. Babante says opinions often change. Once people are in the vehicles and experience them, they're very positive. Uber did temporarily stop its self-driving test after one of its vehicles hit and killed a woman in Arizona. Now, since then, the company says it has taken steps to make these vehicles safer. But one woman I spoke to today out here on the street said she actually feels safer. She would feel safer getting into one of these driverless vehicles than uh, the Uber she uses now that have a stranger behind the wheel. Reporting live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.